So I've to start, decided to start building the canopy, I guess, or tilt is what they call them, for my Volkswagen truck. And I've just sketched out here, it's kind of hard to see, I'm sure, uh, the Sharpie line, the upper line is the correct one. And basically what I did was I made a giant compass using a string. So we went like this. I put a line on the end, or a pen on the end, and swung it, arced it, using the two pieces of paper that are taped together as my center point. So now I'm going to cut uh, the line around and down. Just fold it over and that way if both sides are the same. Take it out and see if it acts like it kind of fits the bus. I, I found some plans. This angle, or this turn here, is supposed to be about a four foot uh, circle. That is definitely not. That is sharper than that. And this outer one is six and a half. And then I just measured from the center point out uh, half of what 60 the bus is 63 inches wide so it's a little bit wider it's about 32 wide and hopefully that'll be wide enough so let me cut that out and then we'll take it out kind of stick it up on the back side of the bus and see what it looks like I'm gonna try and get this uh, metal work done tomorrow so I can get sewing on the on the canopy probably gonna be way too dark to see this but I've just got magnets holding it up and then a piece of cardboard kind of propping it up. When I come out in the morning, it's probably going to be blown off, but basically off of this bolt here and this bolt here, my straight pipe is going to come up, essentially. Uh, obviously, it has to go inside the gate, and this will be the, the mount point for the rear. So it's going to be in, inset just a little bit. Uh, like I said, the bus is 63 inches wide back here in the tail bed area. So with this gate shut, uh, my pipe is going to have to go where these two bolts are inside that and then come straight up. So you can see I got quite a bit of, of uh, over calculation here. And so what I will do in that case is come straight up from this point. And so really the only place that uh, we will overhang the cab is right here. So about four inches, probably three inches on each side needs to come off and then that angle up top there will have to be recalculated again. But that's the plan. And then same thing on this side. That bracket will have to go in that little pocket right there where those bolts are. And then there'll be a rubber stopper that hits right there where that divot is. So that's the plan. And I see I missed another hole now that I'm out here. That hole right there needs to be filled. A lot of times they put wood slats on these trucks that went uh, in between. And uh, they just drilled them through. I don't know if that's what that is or, or what. But I thought I filled up the holes. Obviously I missed one. So it's getting too dark to mess with this tonight. I'll cut off the three inches of that tomorrow and try and make a pattern. And uh, we'll go from there. So I went and got the metal today uh, to make the hoop set for this truck. And here's my other stash over here. I think it's going to work. I'm using one inch uh, thin wall. So this is basically what I've got. And then I bought three-quarter to sleeve in to make my two joiner pieces so I'll have to come up with some way to space that evenly or choose a side to put it on and weld that into when, where my straight piece goes up and then this is going to be my bracket that goes back here um, I'm going to taper into my one inch so I cut one of those off of uh, just got two by uh, angle and I really wanted uh, two by three but they didn't have it because I wanted the three to go 
up, give me a little strength that way. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll make do with this. I think this will be plenty strong enough, eighth inch. Um, hopefully, it'll be good. But I just eyeballed kind of this piece here, cut it uh, out of that, angled the two pieces back, and then I'm just going to weld. That'll go right like that. And uh, I'm gonna, I think this will fit right between those two bolts. So that'll be perfect. I'll just drill a hole on either side of this for that to fit. Weld all that up. And that'll just go right like that. So I just need to make another one of those. And then. Uh, make the the one for the front I don't I don't know that I need to change let's see if this will fit up there okay I don't know that I need to change it for the front I think uh, I think it'll be fine there's a little divot there that bumps out a little bump out there and I do think that this pipe needs to go uh, to the outside of the cab divot and then I'll weld a plate uh, weld a piece up here to pick up <coughs> to pick up that bolt <coughs> sorry took in too much metal on that last cut uh, so I think if I put this here and that right there I think that if I cut what I'm saying, I guess, I think if I cut, whoa, sorry about that, folks. If I cut the uh, plates all the same, I think it'll still work just fine. So that just needs to go like that. So I just need to cut uh, three more of these, and I think we are good. I probably should have bought a drill bit to drill through that, though. But uh, we'll be able to make it work. And then I need to figure out what lengths exactly uh, I need these and uh, get those all cut. So let me cut uh, now that I have a pattern. Oh, found another hole in the truck bed. Didn't do a very good job finding that, did I? And uh, just cut three more of those and grind them down, kind of pretty up the edges a little bit, and uh, then we'll, we'll try and figure out how many length inches I need on these and get those cut and ready to weld up. I've got those all cut and I think they're gonna work just fine. Need to um, grind them down and finish the edges off a little bit. And then I gotta come up with something for this bolt up here. So I was thinking about just using the cutoff, whichever the way that went, like that, uh, from this and just welding it. Scoot the camera up just a little bit because you're kinda in my way there, folks. I think if I just welded that to there, I think that'll work just fine. So I'm just going to grab a couple of those rather than making two more cuts because I'm lazy. Uh, and besides that, that's pretty much a perfect fit. So we'll just use that. So now the thing is I've got to figure out exactly how I want that uh, top piece to go. So I made a jig last night. Well, not really a jig, but a piece of paper, a paper doll, if you will, uh, to put up there. So let me go get that set up, and we'll figure out exactly how tall we want this and where we want it to turn in, and then we'll get these guys cut and uh, try and get the header pieces bent. And then I'm going to go to an auction tonight. So if I could get that much done and get the welding done after the auction, that would be really awesome. I did go do a little junking today. Wrong way. Um, we've got a Buzz Lightyear for a quarter the kiddo will think that's pretty cool. Uh, these are aluminum, little aluminum tins, but I thought if I laid them kind of like this, put the holes on the same side, uh, it might make a kind of a cool bicycle rack on the back. They're aluminum, can't weld them, but they're only 50 cents. Let's see, a John Deere tractor, vintage scarf, uh, 10 cents, flapper disc. Fishing reel, I'm going to rig a, a way to uh, clip this into um, probably right in here somewhere. 
and that's going to be a clothesline while we're camping or a hanging line to hang whatever on. Uh, I couldn't pass this guy up. I thought that was kind of cool. And I did go to the garage sale uh, in the bus. So, seemed appropriate. I think the door's actually open on it. Kind of. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. The wheels actually roll. Yeah, surfboards not glued it didn't really stay on there very well but uh, anyway thought that was kind of a cool piece might look good sitting up on the dash what you think you can do it Oops, sorry there we go that looks pretty good oh and then we got some uh, cars books that uh, tractor tipping. Those are kind of fun. Uh, kiddo, I think. I think that's great. And of course, no garage sale is complete without. Let's get this set up here. A Lady McQueen tow mater and dock uh, folding chair. Kids' folding chair. I liked it because it lays flat, so it will fit under here. Uh, gives him a nice seat for when we go places. So let me go get the uh, paper doll, see where we're at for uh, for getting this thing kind of hacked out and mocked up. So stay tuned. So here's what I've got, and I think I'm gonna have to come out. Uh, Width-wise, I cut two inches huff last night, and I think I'm going to have to come out just a little bit. Uh, because basically this needs to go straight up, and that's pretty much where it's going to go, is right there. So I just need to come straight up with that. And I think what I'm going to do is add, uh, rather, than, rather than tapering the side out further, I think I'm going to add... Uh, a straight section if you will up in the top and the dead middle and just flatten that out doesn't need to come out very much just I don't know probably probably about what I cut off two inches <laughs> uh, yep about two inches is what it needs to come out so that's so what I'm gonna do is Add flat section into the middle of this, and I think if I come out just about two inches out, that'll be about perfect. So that's kind of what we've got. Thank you, uh, Sailrite, for delivering my fabric. Just got it yesterday. Free advertisement for sale right there. Awesome company right here in Indiana, Cherbusco, Indiana. I think that's, I think the, the, uh, the angle's about right, I think. I guess I could, uh, probably pull one of these guys down and get that angle. It flares out a little bit, though. It doesn't come straight down. So I don't know that that would be the best thing to do. And let's get a ladder and see what this looks like. Yeah. I think that looks looks pretty good. It's just below the roof rack, which is where I wanted it. And sidewise, it's pretty good. Like I said, it needs to come out just a hair. I'm liking it. <clears throat> Still, I think I think this angle has to be that sharp. I think if we go uh, with this one, we're not going to be sharp enough. Now the trick's going to be bending that 
square tube to get that shape, which is going to be a royal pain in the you know what. I'm figuring and cogitating as a Don not says, formulating the plan in my mind. Let me get a longer piece and see, see exactly how far we can come out on that piece. It goes all the way up to the rafters. I think that piece is long enough. I could broaden uh, the upper part of it. Now that I'm looking at this, I could just broaden this out to hit this piece here. That might work. Uh, the wind is going to blow down my, my paper doll. But it's off about an inch and a half, I think. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to try broadening that uh, the tight turn. Because I, I, like, I like the arc. I like the way I've got that. Uh, set so I don't want to mess too much with that um, so yeah let me try broadening this uh, my pipe out of the way here let me try broadening this corner here to bring it into that and let's see what we get with that kind of paper dolled in a new arch on that and it'll line up with this <clears throat> like that and then I'm just gonna make it sleeve in at the same height as the uh, rain gutter so I'm coming off the rain gutter here and just pulling it back so this is gonna be the height of my the truck bed piece if you will and then it'll sleeve in right here to make the curved portion that's at least the plan anyway uh, so let me go get four of these cut and maybe get a new complete paper doll set cut out. I do like that better when you stand back. Take the letter back with me. When you stand back from a, a distance. I like that angle better than the sharper. Plus it's going to be easier to bend. What I did was I took that outer piece of cardboard, that arch, and actually laid it behind my roof rack arc to get it. So it kind of mimics that. It's just up a little bit higher. So I'm liking that. I think that's going to be okay. Yep, yeah, so let me go get four of those cut and then we're, we'll get started on building a jig to bend that uh, top header bow around. I gotta admit, it looks good. Hold on, baby. Here you go. 